What's going on everyone? This is Mark Dawson. and today I'm going to show you the fix for the Microsoft C++ visual error when you go to play cracked games on your Steam Deck. So right here I have the new SD Gundam and I'm going to show you what happens when I go to play it as Proton Experimental. We're going to click play. Alright, and this is the error message you're going to get right here, this one. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we're going to minimize Steam. You're going to go to your internet browser. I use, um... Internet Explorer, you can use Firefox, whichever you prefer, and you're going to type in Microsoft C++, and then you click on the first link right here, and then we're going to click on x86 and x64, and we're going to download both of these, so if you click it, you'll see in the top right, it should pop up, that's the first one, then we'll click the second one right here, and then boom, right there, now we'll click this little icon right here, and it's going to open your downloads folder, and they're both going to be right there, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add them into Steam as a non-Steam game, and run them as Proton Experimental. Let's minimize that. Let's go back to Steam. And we're going to go to Add New Game. Add an on Steam game. We're going to go to Browse. Then we're going to go to File Type, All Files. Then we'll click the drop down up here and you click this little dash. And if you click Home, Deck, and then you scroll down, you should have downloads right here. Okay, so we're going to do 64 first. We'll add that. We'll hit Open and then Add Selected Program. And it should pop up in your list. Let me change it real quick. Okay, so it's right here. Alright, so let's add the next one. Add a non-Steam game the same way. Browse. All file types. We're going to go to x86 this time. We're going to hit open. Hit select the program. And you'll see they're both right here. So, we're going to left-click this one. Go to properties. We're going to go to compatibility. We'll force the use. And we'll do a Proton Experimental. And you're going to do the same thing for the x86 one. So we'll click that, go to properties, go to compatibility, force the use, and we'll do Proton Experimental. And now we're going to run both of these. So we'll click not that. We'll click this, we'll hit play. Okay, and we're going to, it's going to pop up. We're going to agree, hit install. Okay, and that's done. We'll close that down. Stop, it stopped. Okay, we'll go to x86. We'll do the same exact thing. All right, that'll pop up. We'll agree again. Install. Hit close. All right, so now that those are done, we're going to minimize Steam for now. All right, the next thing I'm going to show you where they were installed to. We're going to go to the file pad. So we're going to make sure we'll have our file explorer open. And right here, I'm going to have the path. So we'll open up this text file and I'll show you. All right. All right, so this right here is the command line we're going to add to Steam and then we're going to find the path. I'm going to show you that in one second. So I'll copy this. We'll put it down real quick. All right, so we're going to paste right here. That's the base command, okay? So we're going to use that. So now we're going to go and find where we installed those. So you're going to go open your file explorer. We're going to go to home. We'll go to deck. We'll go to local. Share. Go to Steam. Go down. Steam apps. Go down again. Comp data. And we're going to click on Modified. All right, let's see. Click it again. There we go. See, all right, so this is two minutes ago. See, these are the two files we installed. What we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to go up here. And you should be able to left click and hit Select All. We're going to left click again. We're going to copy that. So that's the path. So we're going to go here. We're going to paste that into there. And then after that, we're going to go to space and we're going to do percent command percent. Percent, just like that. If we want to make sure we get rid of the little backspace. Mm -hmm. We'll get rid of that dash and we'll space again. So it's just like that, just a space in between. We'll minimize that. And we're going to go down again. We're going to do the same thing for the other one. So we'll hit enter, go 
down. And you're going to want to save these in WordPad so it's easier to copy and paste the entire line into Steam. It can be a little buggy when you're trying to you know, copy and paste things in and out of there. So we'll do the same thing. We'll copy this path right here. Copy, you'll put down here, paste. And we'll go back to File Explorer. We'll go back. So we just did 611, so now we'll go to the next one right here. All right, and you're going to go up and do the same exact thing. I'm going to left click, select all, copy. We're going to click here again. We're going to paste it. And then we're going to get rid of that, that dash again. Let's just copy and paste this. We'll do that right here. We'll do paste. All right, we're going to bring the keyboard again. We're going to do space. Then we'll put the keyboard away. And those are the two commands right there. So now we're going to go back to Steam. Okay, so let's... We're going to open Steam back up. We're going to go to our Gundam game as soon as I can find it. Let me go back up to recent. Okay, here it is. So we're going to left click on it. We're going to go to the properties. And on top of running it, Proton Experimental, we'll go to Shortcut, and then we're going to go to Launch Options. So what we're going to do is we're going to try both. So every time you get the error, try both of them and see which one works. Usually it's the second one. So what we'll first we'll do is we'll copy this one. Go to here. Left click, we'll go to Copy. Go in here, we'll go to Paste. And then we'll just close that out. Oops. We'll close that out, and then we'll hit play and see what I, let me see, one second. Okay, that confused me. All right. So now that we have it in for the Gundam game, we're going to hit play and see what happens. Okay, so we're getting the same error, so we're going to go back to this, go to properties, and we're going to replace this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to delete the whole thing real quick. We'll just cut it to get it out of there. So we'll go back. And now we're going to do the second line. So we'll go here. Make sure we get the whole thing. It could be a little tricky sometimes. All right. Now that we have it, we'll copy that again. Go to here, go to launch options, we'll paste it. Okay. And we'll close that out and then we'll go to run the game again. And this time it should work. Yep, and there we go, guys. And that's how you fix the Microsoft C++ error. I hope this was helpful for anyone. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And thanks.